while this Saturday is opening night for the Quad City Storm. And News 8's Charles Hart is joining us live in Moline on the ice rink with a look at what's coming up this season. Good morning, Charles. Yeah, good morning, David. I'm glad you noticed that. Well, the storm will take, will um, hit the ice, the ice that I'm standing on right now, battling the Peoria Rivermen this Saturday here at the Vibrant Arena at the Mark. And of course, here to talk to me about this upcoming season is president of the hockey team, Brian Rothenberger. Brian, thanks so much for waking up so early with us this morning. Glad to do it. Appreciate you guys being out here. Yeah, of course. No, it, it's a joy, and hopefully we won't follow. I hope this, not. It's a bad around, way to but, start today. Yeah, exactly. But, <laughs> but anyway, let's get right into it. So, of course, opening day just a few days away. Um, is the team ready? The I hope season? so. <laughs> I hope so. They are. Uh, we are actually, I think, as ready as we have been both on and off the ice. We uh, had some great news yesterday. Our Canadian players are officially on their way down, which is very important Perfect. for a hockey yeah. team. You need those <laughs> you guys. You need them here, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And yeah, we do have a very fun uh, game in store on Saturday. It'll be entertaining playing Peoria on the ice yeah. and off the ice. We've got a lot going on that I think fans are really going to enjoy. Sounds like it's going to be a rowdy crowd, so that's good for Definitely. the first first opening night. Definitely set the tone. Note. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Well, uh, what are some of the new promotions that the team is holding this year for uh, for the fans? Sure. Well, opening night, we've got a pregame concert, which will be a ton of fun. And then looking forward to next weekend, we've got three games. We've got our second ever Day of the Dead Night, which will be a ton of fun. Yeah. Got some cool custom Halloween. jerseys yeah. for that. Yeah, and then we've got our first ever Hockey is for Her Night coming up on that Saturday. We're going to have Olympian Hillary Night here, which is a ton of fun. And then Sunday is one of my personal favorites. It's our trick-or-treat game. Oh, perfect. So uh, we're, we're starting off quick with some super fun promotions for well, fans. Well, no kidding. Yeah, well, compared to last season, you know, is the team coming in with a different mindset? You know, what are you telling your players? They definitely are. And we have a ton of great guys that are engaged in our community, but Watching practice the last few days, there is definitely a little bit of a difference in attitude. Guys that were here last year are just kind of ornery, uh, for lack of a better right. term. They are not happy with how last season went. That's translated to the new guys, and I think it's going to lead to some very passionate hockey on Saturday and throughout the season. Hey, well, it's a new season, new mindset, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so leave the past in the past. <laughs> but and I know you mentioned the um, hockey is for her night. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about what that is and why it's so important? Sure. So hockey is a growing game. It's yep. a game that really needs to grow. And we're trying to do our part by that, not just giving more kids the opportunity to play, but bringing in new fans and engaging them Absolutely. in the game. And uh, Saturday, the 28th, we're going to have a women in sports business panel pregame for anyone who may be interested, not necessarily playing hockey, but working in hockey or working in sports. And then having a uh, gold medalist, Hillary Knight, here, which is what did the IHF Female Player of the Year, best female hockey player in the world right now to be here to uh, just be a great role model for kids to meet and get autographs from, I think is, uh, is a good start. Well, it'll be so much fun. It grows the sport, you know, and that's all you want to do. So, Absolutely. Perfect. Well, Brian, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for being out Hopefully here. you're awake. And <laughs> I am. Feeling good. But, and we wish you guys the best of luck this Saturday and for the rest of the season. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Well, the puck drop is just after 7 p.m. this Saturday, and tickets are as low as 12 bucks. For now, live in Moline on the ice in the Vibrant Arena at the Mark, Charles Hart, WQAD News 8. All right, Charles, thank you. When the storm takes the ice for opening night Saturday against Peoria Rivermen, you can get free goodies. The first 1,000 fans will get a free magnet with the team's schedule on it and a rally towel.